Hi guys, this is Nathan, aka Nate Gree, aka Board Scientist on YouTube. I just wanted to make a video to show off sort of the culmination of this Apple II video project I've been working on and off on for about a year. So the idea here was to bring digital video to the Apple II series computers in 8-bit glory. Uh, today I'll be using for my demo an Apple II Plus that I recently acquired. Now this has the 16K language card installed which is required for the software. The software al also requires a 64K at least RAM disk. I'm accomplishing this today with a PC transporter running as a RAM disk. So this gives me obviously a lot more room. The PC transporter in this mode gives you a RAM disk that's about 750K but everything I'm showing you today will run on a 64K RAM disk. So an Apple IIc would be fine or a Apple IIe with an extended 80 column card. Okay, so let me show you how this works. So here's my floppy. This has everything on it that I'm gonna show you right now. I'll switch disk later to a second set of videos, but the first two videos I'll show you are on this thing already. So let me pop it in a drive here. stuff on. Okay, so this thing runs as a ProDOS system application, so it's going to boot right to it. And I wrote my own directory lister to tell you what video files are available, so that way I could kill BASIC and get even more room in the RAM. As you would imagine, this thing eats RAM. So let me go ahead and show you the first. File. So this is a reaction GIF, a lot of people should know, and makes for a very appropriate inaugural video, I think. So it's loading. This one's about 60k, I think. And there you are. Digital video running on an Apple II. So it just loops like this until I tell it not to. So the way I tell it not to is to hit any key on the keyboard. And there we go, it relists the directory. And now let's play our second file. A little clip. Beyonce dancing, black and white. So as you can imagine, this wasn't trivial to do. It took a lot of warning assembly, a lot of warning compression, a lot of getting a frame rate to be decent. And there we are. So one trick I can do um, is I can swap the disc while it's playing. And I'll put in another disc with two other video files. It just scans whatever volume uh, has the name of the main disk and this one happens to be named the same so it'll pull up the video files on this disk once I stop this one playing back okay so those last ones had black borders because it helps with compression and file size because um, you gotta fit it into memory that's something playing it back so fast there's no reading from the disk but these are full screen, so here's a nice full screen clip coming up. Sometimes you get lucky and you can do a full screen file with just a 64K RAM disk. And there we are, full screen video. Pretty cool. All right. Now let's check out Darth Vader. big file so it'll take a while. Really happy with the way the way this one turned out by the way. And there he is performing his signature move. So there you go. Arbitrary video digitized on an Apple II. 
or maybe the first time ever. Not sure about that, so if anyone can point me to another project that's done this, I'll certainly correct myself uh, down in the description. Uh, and yeah, you know, because I like you guys, we'll do the other two clips that I have loaded on floppies. So, swap disks, yet again. This time we've got, let's see, a little clip of Rachel from Blade Runner. This is a full screen one. And like I said, it is a little clip. Here, we'll pull back on this, just so you can see what it looks like running from across the room. Pretty neat, right? Okay, so let's go do the other clip. So you notice it's called Tron. It's not from the 80s Tron. I actually got out of 80s movies. This is from Legacy. But this shows off, um, so even more black borders than the first clips I showed you. Because this one's long, and it's got a lot of action, so it uh, didn't compress terribly well, and the only way to fit it on there was to give it the most black borders. But you can see, you can still tell what's going on. Definitely a white cycle and a dude with a disc coming right at you. So, totally effectively works, even at that size. All right, so there you have it. That's this project. Um, so all the files should be up uh, to be able to use this yourself up on my GitHub. It's a little rough right now, but uh, you know I'll be working on it, and hopefully other people will want to work on it too. That'd be cool. All right, so thanks for watching. Later.